Welcome back to Prince Clement Entertainment. To get daily trending news and your favorite celebs updates, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Governor Jomo's real name is Samuel Mwangi Njoroge. He is popularly known as the son of the duo mother and son and as Governor Jomo on Inoro TV's show Idagariene. Mwangi was born on 1st Feb 1974. As of 2021, he is 47 years old. He was born at Mumias, Western Kenya. On the show Idagariene, he portrays a husband to Karen and a governor who engages in extramarital affairs with one of the beautiful waitresses in his five-star hotel. Mwangi is the firstborn in a family of eight siblings. His father was an orphan in a Doret adopted by a Kalenjin family. During an interview on Jeff Kuria TV, Mwangi revealed that his father was employed as a shamba boy in Nedoret. He added that his dad had an affair with his employer's daughter, which made them to elope to Mumias after realizing that she was pregnant. And that's how Mwangi was born in Mumias, Western Kenya. Mwangi's dad later got employed as a casual labor at Mumias Sugar Company. His family lived at Mumias for a long time before moving to Subukia, making Mwangi to be more fluent in Luya than Kikuyu. Mwangi studied at Mumias Complex Primary School, then studied his part of high school education in Mumias before moving to Jomo Kenyatta High School in Nakuru. After high school, he did a course on mass communication at Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. Mwangi discovered his singing and acting talent while in primary school. He first appeared on TV screens when he acted K24's show, Gumbaru School. After that, he acted in Oro TV show, Kenyu na Kenyu. Mwangi is married and is a proud dad of four cute boys. Mwangi and his late mom are famous for singing popular mother and son songs such as Derona Jerusalem. We all have that story of how we first came to Nairobi. Here is Mwangi's story according to his interview on Jeff Kuria TV. Mwangi's mom was very talented in singing. She used to be a singer at their full gospel church. As young, an idea came to Mwangi of recording their songs with his beloved mom. During that time, songs were only recorded in Nairobi, which to Mwangi, Nairobi was a new town. He had never traveled to Nairobi and also lacked bus fare. Luckily, he managed to get bus fare from his dad's friend after working for him. Mwangi traveled to Nairobi where he arrived at 5 in the morning. The only place he knew in Nairobi was just a name, Wamaito Productions. Innocently, he went to inquire for directions from a Mkokoteni guy. The Mkokoteni guy was a godsend. He told Mwangi to rest on his Mkokoteni till the sun rises. At 8 am, the Mkokoteni guy took Mwangi to the Wamaito's place. At Wamaito's place, things did not go as Mwangi expected. Wamaito never saw potential in Mwangi. Mwangi's dream of recording songs was shattered. Luckily, the Mukokoteni guy waited for Mwangi outside. He encouraged him not to lose hope and took him to other production houses. Most of the production houses rejected Mwangi's application till he finally tried his luck at Mr. Joseph Kamaro's place. All this time, the Mukokoteni guy was still with Mwangi. Mr. Joseph Kamaro saw potential in Mwangi. He told Mwangi to go home and come back with his mother. Kamaro was a kind man. Mwangi reveals that Kamaro is the person who made him the man he is today. He gave him 2k to go home and bring his mother. The Mkokoteni guy was very happy for Mwangi. He took Mwangi to Akibanda and bought him food before he could go back home to Mumias. Mwangi and his mother managed to return to Nairobi where they met with Kamaro and recorded their songs. Kamaro introduced them to media houses, among them Elizabeth Omolo of KBC, who came up with the name Mother and Son. Mother and Son recorded eight albums, each with 14 songs. Too late, Mwangi has never traced the Mkokoteni guy. He has been searching for the Mkokoteni guy but it's all in vain. He can't remember his name. Mwangi is ever grateful to the guy and wants to reward him for his kindness back then. On Jeff Kuria TV, Mwangi promised to give the Mkokoteni guy an acre piece of land. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment or share.